In this problem, we're going to do an induction proof. So we have a function defined from the set of positive integers into the set of real numbers, and it's given by f of 1 equals 1, and we have to end this here. And we have to prove that f of n is less than 2 for all positive integers. So the, our function is given by a recursive definition. So f of 1 is equal to 1, and the other terms are given by um, this equation here. And we're trying to show this is true, so this is going to be our statement. That's our s sub n. We have to show it's true for all positive integers. Okay, let's do it. Proof. So the first step in an induction proof is the base case. So base case. So in the base case, you show that your statement is true for the smallest positive integer that you're working with. So here, we're working with all positive integers, so the smallest positive integer is 1. So we have to show that our statement is true when n is equal to 1. Okay, so by definition of our function, so by definition, we have that f of 1 is equal to 1. So let's write that down. f of 1 is equal to 1. But hey, wait a minute, 1 is less than 2. So that means that f of 1 is less than 2. Well, that's precisely s sub 1. So s sub 1 is true. So we've shown what we have to show. We've shown s sub 1 is true. So the base case is complete. The next step is the induction hypothesis. So induction hypothesis. Some people uh, jumble this with the induction step, or they just call it the induction step. That's fine. I like to break it up into three steps. So I'll just abbreviate it IH. So in the, in the induction hypothesis, um, we get to uh, assume our statement is true when n is equal to k. So this is, this is where we assume s sub k is true. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write that in parentheses here just as a guide. So you assume s sub k is true always, right? This is what you always do. So let's, let's do that. So suppose, suppose that f of k is less than 2. And it's not just for like all k, it's for some positive integer k. So we don't know what it is. So just some positive integer k. All right, and then the last step is the um, induction step. This is typically the hardest step. So the induction step. And this is where we have to show our statement is true um, when n is equal to k plus 1. So here we have to show s sub k plus 1 is true. These are always the steps, by the way. So like if you're new to induction, you do this, you do this, you do this. Obviously, <laughs> easier said than done. Um, this one shouldn't be too bad, but this is typically the hardest step. All right, so in order to show this, we have to actually know what we're showing. So it's helpful for us to write down what we're trying to show. However, this is a proof, so we're not supposed to write down what we're trying to show. So what you can do is you can indicate to whoever's reading your proof that you're writing down what you're trying to show. So you say something like, we need to show, or I need to show, or let's show, we need to show, NTS means need to show, that uh, S sub K plus 1 is true. Well, that means you plug in K plus 1 into your statement. So we're trying to show that this, that's a 1, <laughs> is less than 2. Okay, so that's what we're trying to show. All right, let's do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it uh, over here. So I'm going to switch colors to, for clarity. So note... So let's start with this side, f of k plus 1. And we need to use something else that's not on the screen. So how about this? How about our definition, our part of our recursive definition? So this is equal to the square root of 2 plus f of k. So this is by definition of our function. And now we can use the induction hypothesis because we have f of k. You see, f of k is less than 2. So this is less than the square root of... 2 plus 2. And this is by the induction hypothesis. Right? Just replacing f of k with 2. You can do that because this is less than 2, so this whole thing is less than the square root of 2 plus 2. And uh, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. So we have that f of k plus 1 is less than 2. So that means that s of k plus 1 is true. Scroll down, make sure you can see not sure if it's capturing the whole screen. 
So less than two, so S sub K plus one is true. So we've shown what we're trying to show, so therefore we're done with the proof. So thus, by the principle, so P, of mathematical M induction, I, uh, we have that uh, F of N is less than two for all integers that are positive, for all positive integers. And, you know, I like to finish my proofs with, um, with something I, I usually use a box with an X. I stole this from uh, someone long ago. Um, other ways of finishing the proof, you know, are QED, etc. Uh, this problem is not hard, but I think um, I can see people be having a hard time with it because of the complexity of the question. I mean, like half the battle is even like understanding what the question is asking. You know, you have this recursive definition of a function and you're trying to prove that your function is less than two always based off this recursive definition. So, uh, kind of an interesting question, not your typical induction problem. Hopefully this video uh, has been helpful to you in some way. Uh, good luck and take care.